All right. It's time to leave comments. You feel me? So, listening to Black Compass interview Debo, I know this happened a little minute ago, but they put it out tonight, right? So, I'm not on here to just shoot shots at niggas and be negative. I got some 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 answers to some problems. At least I feel like it's an answer to a problem, right? I'm going to say what I do like and what I don't like. Now, I'm going to speak for myself first before I get into that. I have a small platform, bro. There's a lot of niggas out here starting to fuck with me. A lot of niggas pushing my name around, promoting me. Niggas want me to come on their shows and shit like that. Cool. I do spend time on other niggas' channels. If they ask me to come on and I got time, I show up. Here's the thing. I'm not looking to be these battle rappers' friends, and that's no diss to these niggas. I'm not looking to be buddy-buddy with them, get their phone numbers, talk in the background. I do have battle rappers that hit me up. It's battle rappers that watch my shit that I didn't even know was watching my content. Some niggas fuck with me. Other niggas don't even know who the fuck I am. Cool. But I had that same feeling when it comes towards league owners, too. I'm not looking to interview these niggas. No diss to niggas that interview niggas. But I'm not looking to be niggas' friends. I want to be able to speak freely and have a clear conscience afterwards. Like, I don't want to have to diss a nigga and low-key feel bad about it because me and this nigga chop it up from time to time. So I'm not using this conversation, this blog right here, to try to gain friendships or try to make niggas my friends and shit like that. I'm not doing that. I'm just speaking on the aspect of how the, the, the league owners treat the bloggers and how the bloggers respond to shit. And sometimes how the bloggers treat the league owners. So it's a vice versa type thing. So you want to hear, here go. This is the part that Debo said in an interview that I did fuck with. Listen, I had a good time I'm, listen I'm, I'm not dumb. Everybody yeah. get a fair shake from me. Personally, the only people I don't fuck with is the Piper Boy dude. And I, I don't know about fucking Battle Troop. I never had a problem with him, but he did some some crazy shit that I'm not cool with. And, you know what I'm saying, the ARP nigga, everybody know me and him don't get along. So those are the only people, everybody else yeah. is good money with me. Everybody know me and Cassidy going on and off on each other and shit. And that's that relationship, uh. whatever and shit. Maybe it's not y'all's. I could dig it and shit like that. And it, it just, it is what it is. But I'll tell you one thing with Black Compass Media, I, there is no love lost there. I mean, there is, there's nothing but love there. We got to name names. There's no, necess not necessarily a shot at Nunu or Norbs or nobody else. But those two people are, are notably named, named for the shit that I'm about to say. It's a lot of league owners and, and people in, in high places in battle rap who will just come out and say, man, fuck the bloggers. The bloggers ain't shit. They just looking for negativity. And I said this before, I'm going to say it again. You niggas really think we cut on these cameras hoping to speak neg negatively about your events? You think we spend $50 buying all these events only to come on it to be negative? Like we use what we see simply to be negative? Or you think that we're going to be more excited to get on camera and be like, yo, this shit was dope, this shit was crazy, it was fire, it was whatever. That's stupid logic to think that that's what niggas is after. We only seeking out the negativity of y'all events. You got to name names when you say fuck the bloggers because when you make a comment like that, I'm going to assume that something just happened or somebody just said something for you to want to make a statement like that. Because all bloggers is not out here looking to gun down league owners and their events and shit. Call these niggas names out when you got a problem with the shit that they do. Don't just sit up there and generalize that shit and have all the bloggers feeling like, damn, well, what the fuck do we do? Like, we promoting y'all events. Y'all niggas don't shout us out. But when somebody say something negative or something y'all don't like, whether you know who we are or not, I heard Debo say, I don't know all of these bloggers or whatever, or they don't always come across my screen, my nigga. When you get wind of it, niggas is quick to say, Oh, well, fuck this nigga and he ain't shit and, you know what I'm saying, these bloggers be liking to be negative, them niggas haters, blah, blah, blah. But, on the other hand, when we do positive shit, nobody retweets that shit. None of the league owners is fast to jump out the window and say, damn, I gotta give it up to Black Compass or Angry Fan or Battle Truth or Piper Boy. And when the shit's positive, 
Nobody's quick to throw shit up on their screen to say how shit was sweet. That's a fact. But y'all love to come at us when y'all don't like something. So don't talk about how we only be on negative shit when y'all niggas only shoot at us when shit's negative. Y'all don't shoot at us for all the positive shit that niggas do. Mind you, you might not like it, but all the publicity you get, negative or positive, is for your benefit. If we don't like the, a, a, a battle that's being set up on your card, maybe somebody might disagree and encourage them to want to fucking watch the battle just to see for themselves if it was positive or not. Y'all think that it's easy to just get on these cameras and just speak negatively and shit. Some niggas like to just get on camera and shoot shots negatively. I'm not one of them niggas, but I will voice my opinion when it's some shit that I don't like. That I think it's a lot of fans out here who agree with me. And I speak for them niggas who don't have a platform or choose not to use a platform to speak on it. So here's a solution to that situation. Something like this, which you can see on the screen right now, is a tool that y'all niggas could use during your pay-per-view or at the end of the pay-per-view or at the intro of a battle, at the end of a battle. Shit like that can be done to promote the bloggers that you fuck with, that you know about, that you know did a good job in promoting your event or promoted your battlers specifically or whatever the case may be so that the love is reciprocated and you ain't got to go on interviews and shout out names you make sure that they get attention from your entire audience that decided to tune in to your fucking event that gives your fans the league owners that gives your fans of your content an opportunity to see who they can turn to to get good content in support of your event and in turn, it builds up the, the channels of the bloggers and of the podcasters and the radio shows. It gives them more viewers and more subscribers in return. One hand wash the other. They both wash the face. So now, when niggas want to hear what's going on, on on your event, they know which bloggers to turn to, who's going to be fucking blogging and talking about your events and shit. You don't gotta worry about how many tweets you did and didn't give out in regards to showing love to bloggers and shit like that. Here's a perfect example, bro. I'm not looking for Debo to, to kiss my ass or no shit like that. He don't owe me nothing. But I do support female battle rap. I don't have a channel where I can just talk about the low tier names on your card or I can talk about the whole card and gain views Let's before I say that. Let's keep in mind. Yes, this is about gaining views. You think we do this just to talk to 20, 30 people? No. Yes, we put the content out that we think is going to get us the most views. That's obvious. It don't make sense to sit up here and do this to talk to ten people. So you're going to put out there what you can put out there to inspire people to come back to your channel. But in promotion, the Queen of the Ring. Let's get back to that from my channel. I said, well, I know that I can talk about Twerk and Miss Hustle. That's two credible names in the battle rap world that I think people will tune into. Not only did I do that, I promoted Miss Hustle's music on my fucking channel so that it gave her some exposure to her music. And Queen of the, uh, Queen of the Ring got some publicity from me to inspire people to want to see that battle. If for no other battle, they purchased the pay-per-view to watch that fucking battle specifically. When I posted that on Twitter, for, for, the, for the masses to see, to make sure that it got exposure, Debo, I tagged you. And you follow me. You didn't retweet it. You didn't respond. I'm not mad at you. Who's to say you even seen it? I don't fucking know. I'm not mad at this nigga. But what I am saying is, is that is people out here giving out publicity for leagues that get no response. It's niggas out here helping to promote shit that get no love. Whether I get love from URL or not, or Queen of the Ring, or KOTD, or whoever, I'm going to be good at the end of the day. I do this for the love of it. If I only stick with the 600 plus that I got, fine by me my nigga i'm doing it for the niggas who rock with me if you don't rock with me i'm not doing it for you anyway it don't fucking matter but here's another thing and i'm gonna close this shit 
One thing I noticed, you are route. This is what these niggas do, right? <laughs> these niggas will take comments that angry fan make, DME, other bloggers, whoever, Piper Boy, whoever, right? They will take the negativity and drop it in the fucking video to diss these niggas or to make mockery of the shit that they said because you feel like you proved these naysayers wrong or that negative comments were wrong. But when niggas speak highly of your event, yo, it was a fire event, it's definitely worth the money. Uh, 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 Smack Volume 3 was a crazy event. Y'all niggas gotta spend your money on that. It was fire, the whole event was fire. When niggas say shit like that, y'all don't make mention of that shit in y'all in y'all trailers and shit like that. You just do the negative shit. So y'all be mad at us when we speak negative and y'all y'all pay attention to the negative. But when it's positive, y'all diss, y'all make sure to diss the bloggers and shit and make sure that they get shot at in return. Why y'all not putting the positive shit in y'all fucking trailers and shit? And don't say it's no opportunity because I know for a fact Beasley will say shit in the trailer like after the success of this event, many fans have been wondering what will URL do next? When you say shit like after the success of this event, that's a perfect time to drop all the positive comments in your trailer that were made about the last event. Show niggas love when you can show love. Don't only diss niggas along the way and then be mad at niggas when they diss y'all shit again. Shit work both ways, my nigga. It don't gotta be a negative aspect to talk about bloggers. Y'all could give niggas love too and show love in different ways. Y'all just choosing not to. And you can't be mad, Debo, or nobody else when bloggers be mad because y'all niggas love to say fuck the bloggers when y'all mad. But we the ones giving y'all promotion all the time. And sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. But you got to know that with that positive shit, some negative shit going to come with it when shit's fucked up. Just acknowledge the shit. That's all I'm saying, fam. Yo, like, comment, subscribe. It's your man, Fat Boy, signing the fuck out. I respect the culture, and I advise you niggas to do the same, man. I'm out.